It's all about taking heavier cuts, heavier roughing cuts, and reducing the overall cycle time of the component. So I'm here in the studio with Lee Scott from Starag UK. In this technical corner, we're going to be talking about a new, uh, a new revision of a model in a sense it could be described, the STC 1250 HD. Incredible piece of kit, this Lee. I saw it in Switzerland with yourself a few months ago. Describe what it is and its purpose. Like you said, it's a new addition to the STC family. So STC is a, is a five axis machine, B axis table that holds the component, A axis, on the head you can actually have an AC head as well but it's predominantly a machine for um, either very dynamic aluminium machining or in this case we're going to talk about today uh, kind of exotic materials titanium in canal type type components okay so what has changed what does the HD mean well I'll tell you what hasn't changed for a start that the head configuration hasn't changed so the head is a is a very stiff rigid but compact head design with a range of spindles but for what we're going to talk about today specifically gear spindles and we have um, we have a drive system in the spindle we have the spindle itself which which is a, a gear driven spindle hsk 100 we also have a brake a dampening brake so we can lock the spindle stop it to swivel so for very heavy roughing but we can also dampen it in five axis mode so very very efficient and heavy duty capability and versatile, from the head. By the sound and versatile. Well. so for five axis aero structure components, very small axis moves. So very short tools, rigid, extremely good productivity. And we've now taken it to a different level. Okay, because you talk about aerospace and there's two material sets I could mention within that, typically aluminium and titanium. So titanium, this is where yeah. this fits. Let's talk titanium. So in the UK alone with the STC range, we've got around 30 machines. So it's a very successful range. Um, what we have seen in the market is a, a, a desire from customers to improve the roughing capability of the, the, the machine with no compromise for finishing, no compromise for accuracy. And that's what, we, that's what we've achieved here. And how have you done it? We, we've, we've changed the linear rails for a hydrostatic system. So don't get that mixed up with a simple box guideway system because they're different and you, 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 you'll we'll see on the slide that, there. Yeah. So we, we've got a, a very advanced hydrostatic system which is uh, basically a box guideway with, with an oil film between the two metallic parts. So you've got a zero friction system, no stick slift that you get on, on, on other types of machine. Um, in fact, you saw Lindsay Emo pushing the whole column forward, which is 12 tonnes with a single finger. So it's a zero friction system. But what does that give? So how does that make the difference in titanium machining then? Because, you know, looking through some of my notes and the conversations we have, we're looking at you know, 30% reduction in overall cycle time when you consider roughing and finishing together, but the majority of that is gained from the roughing then. It is. Well, we, we, we saw a cut of 63 millimetres, 63 millimetre porcupine cutter, 63 mil deep. You said yourself you couldn't hear the machine. You just saw buckets full of swarf falling from the, 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 the machining area. So where we would traditionally take maybe three or four passes with a tool, we're going in with a with, with a single pass, so slightly higher power in that single pass. But overall, we're actually using less power to produce more chips, which is higher productivity and lower cost for for, for the customer. Okay, so there's no. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. And I always do try and think of a reason, a disadvantage to this, but. There isn't really, is there, when it comes to titanium machining, because everyone wants to machine roughing quicker, move more chips, tool wear, uh, machine wear, vibration, all of these things are much well, less then, are they? There's, there's two or three key points there. Firstly, um, on a hydrostatic system, usually the machine is slower. In this case, it isn't. So whilst we're very, very heavily roughing, we're also very dynamic on our finishing. We're still at 40 metres or so. Uh, axis feed rates. Tool life, what, one of the biggest costs for titanium manufacturers and in-canal manufacturers is tool life, so that the carbide burn per hour people call it. We've seen, and I can't use a figure yet because it's not fully quantified, but we've seen significant increases in tool life on here. So your through life consumable tooling cost goes down, your quality goes up, your throughput goes up. What about energy? What about the cost of machining? Well, energy, because it's a zero friction system, the energy is quite low anyway, but obviously you need to drive a lot of energy through a system to, to, to produce a very, very heavy cut. 
So of course it's an energy consuming machine, but we've calculated around 33% less energy consumption on a typical component from this machine compared to a, a, a linear guideway option. Okay, now I wanna, and I'm sure our audience are curious as well as, as, as I was a few months ago. I wanna learn more about the actual hydrostatic guideway system and how it works and how it compares to a couple of the other options that you mentioned, Lee. So we're gonna drop to a, uh, a movie on the screen here, but can you just describe yeah, what is happening here? It looks like there's a lot of oil, but how does it work? Well, firstly, there is a lot of oil, but it's all contained, of course. So, uh, you know, from from a functional point of view, you never see the oil. The oil is in a in in in, in a recyclable system. But yeah, you, basically, on your on your large slideways, you've got a um, a very thin film of oil, 15, 20 micron film of oil. Now. When a large structure rocks and moves around, of course, you could displace oil, theoretically. Well, you could. So we have a very advanced multi-pocket system where we control the, the, the functionality of the oil, the pressure, the volume, et cetera, et cetera. So we've got uniform. We, we, we can um, guarantee the accuracy of the, of the whole machining system. So there's no compromise on, on accuracy on the component. Because oil would strike me as something difficult to measure and monitor how much there is and how much you need, and but you can still guarantee that precise. We well, still guarantee it, and, and each axis is, is split into several pockets. So if you can control each pocket, then you've got full control over the whole hydrostatic system within the machine. Mm. So it, it, it's all about, as we said, it's all about taking heavier cuts, heavier roughing cuts, and reducing the overall cycle time of the component. And the distribution of the oil and. Uh recirculation of the oil, I suppose obviously all of that is completely managed and yeah, it, monitored. It's all within the system, it's a, it's, it's a completely clean process. And how popular is this going to be, Lee, against uh, or for titanium machinists, do you feel? We, we only launched this, you were there for the launch, mm. back, back, back in June. We've got a number of quite significant projects underway. It takes months to, to, to go through this process, but this, this machine is looking like it could be a good, uh, a good selling product for us. Great stuff, so there you have it. If you're into titanium machining want to decrease those uh, roughing times and of course maintain the same um, precision and performance lower energy costs all the things that lee talks about then you should consider the stc 1250 hd from Starrow group thanks lee thank you paul